The only way, really, America can get out of the current mess is you've got to shut the Fed down completely, get rid of the Fed. You've got to put the money printing mechanism back under the roof of the federal government instead of outsourcing it to the Fed. Why were the bank's front men, Alan Greenspan and Ben Bernanke, all over the news saying that they were above the law? What is the uh, proper relationship, what should be the proper relationship between a chairman of the Fed and a president of the United States? There is no ag other agency of government which can overrule actions that we take. What the relationships are uh, don't frankly matter. A grassroots movement demanding that the private Federal Reserve be nationalized exploded in size across the country. The momentum had shifted. Now the arrogant central bankers were the ones running scared. They had planned to use their stage crisis to bring in an all-powerful central bank of the world. Immediately every country goes into action at the same time. Uh, the, the International Monetary Fund is mentioned at the G20 meeting. They say that it must be brought to its full power, and we need a Bretton Woods Part Two for world taxation. What is global government? For decades, the media denied it existed. But now they're saying, oh yes, there's going to be a global government, a new bank of the world, and we're going to pay our carbon taxes to it. What is it? It's nothing more than a private, hostile, corporate takeover of every sovereign nation on Earth. And then when you look at the philosophy of these global corporate chieftains, it is one of domination of the poor, domination of the population. It is a view that human life just isn't cheap. No, human life is a negative. And so no matter what they do, they have the rationale that it's in the greater interest to get rid of more human lives. They are so arrogant and they're so sure of themselves they're saying, yes, we created the European Union, we created the Euro, and this is our, from the people of the Bilderberg. We are going to create a world bank. We're going to create a world government. They're saying it out loud and clearly. Suddenly, across the planet, their regional front banks had been identified by sovereign populations as the illegitimate shadow governments that they are. The controllers had moved too quickly and revealed their hand populations around the globe were seeing through the establishment's facade, past the puppet governments and to the global architects that were pulling their strings. Where are the American people? Why have they lost their dignity? What is stopping them from speaking out? Why have they become little mice that follow Pied Pipers? How can they look up to these pathetic politicians? Go sit down. I have a question for this young man. He has the right to be represented. I'm his father and I want to talk to you face to face. Shut the door. I'm not a lobbyist with all kind of money to stuff in your pocket so that you can cheat the, the citizens of this country. So I'll leave and you can do whatever the hell you please to do. One day God's going to stand before you and he's going to judge you and the rest of your damn cronies up on the hill. And then you will get your just desserts. As the public begins to awaken to the fact that Barack Obama has cold-bloodedly betrayed the pledges he made to the American people, the establishment media and Democratic leaders have invoked the tactic of divide and conquer. I think they're astroturf. Uh, oh, you be the judge of carrying swastikas and symbols like that to a, a town meeting on health care. An overwhelming portion of the intensely demonstrated animosity toward President uh, Barack Obama is based on the fact that he is a black man. Desperate to ram their agenda through, they have played the race and class cards. You start to wonder whether in fact the word socialist is becoming a code word, whether or not socialist is becoming the new n-word. When I heard people going after the first lady and the number right. of staff people they have, it sounds racist to me. It is essential that the establishment play the population off against each other, along the lines of Republican-Democrat liberal conservative, 
black and white. As long as the people are fighting with each other, they can never get together and remove the corporate dictatorship that has criminally seized power through the national security state. Just as George W. Bush betrayed his foolish followers, so must Obama, because his only allegiance is to his offshore masters. President Obama today nominated Ben Bernanke for a second four-year term as Federal Reserve Chairman. The president called his actions on the global financial crisis bold and out of the box. As an expert on the causes of the Great Depression, I'm sure Ben never imagined that he would be part of a team responsible for preventing another. But because of his background, his temperament, his courage, and his creativity, that's exactly what he has helped to, to achieve. And that is why I am reappointing him to another term as chairman of the Federal Reserve. So Obama has made it quite clear by his actions, never mind his words, his actions as to who owns him, who, who he works for, and who he serves. And it's not the American people. It is so obvious to anyone paying attention that the President of the United States is not the real person in control. Whether it is Gerald Ford or Jimmy Carter or Ronald Reagan or, or Clinton or Bush or Bush, Obama is no different. And to think that he is an independent figure is just crazy. And as Franklin Delano Roosevelt said, presidents are selected, they are not elected. Obama pledged that he would end NAFTA and GATT, and has since fought to expand both of them. Obama promised that he would have the most transparent administration ever, and he is already more secretive than Bush and Cheney ever were, even making it a secret who visits the White House. I can make a firm pledge. If your family earns less than $250,000 a year, if you make less than a quarter million dollars a year, if you are a family, making two, less than $250,000 a year, you will not see your taxes increased a single dime. You will not see your taxes go up. You will not see your taxes increase one single dime. Not your capital gains tax, not your payroll tax, not your income tax, no tax. Not your income tax, not your payroll tax, not your capital gains taxes, not any of your taxes. Not your payroll tax, not your capital gains tax, not your income tax, no tax. Your taxes will not go up, because the last thing you need is higher taxes when we're in a recession like this, and you won't get one under an Obama administration. Obama made the centerpiece of his campaign, the pledge that taxes would not be raised on anyone making under $125,000 a year. He has since gone back on that promise as well and has proposed new taxes on payroll, energy, home mortgage deductions, and scores of other taxes. He made a pledge. He said, I'm not going to raise taxes on anyone making under 250. Mm -hmm. Is that pledge still active? Uh, we are going to let the process work its way through it. Okay. So it's not. So it's not. We're going to let the process <laughs> work its way through it. All right? The Senate uh, is looking especially at this issue of, of capping the deductions uh, for, for health care that employers and employees uh, now get. That would, it would be an incre tax increase for many families earning under $250,000, but the president said he was open to it, so that means that the tax pledge he made back in September is no longer operative? Obama said he was going to abolish the Patriot Act. He now vigorously defends it. We saw the same type of flip-flop when it came to warrantless wiretapping of the American people. Look what Obama's done with wiretapping, surveillance. He's brought it to heights even beyond what George Bush, the disgusting levels that he brought it to. So we have more surveillance. Now they're talking about, what is it called, Cybercom, the new Pentagon secret cyber society that's going to be watching over us to get those terrorists. We gotta get those terrorists. So now they'll be invading our privacy even more.